Today on the Boiling Point, we're going to be talking about gas regulators, Maxi Trolls, and we are actually in our boilerwarehouse.com here where all of the magic happens, and we're going to be talking with Brian Grindstaff today on the Boiling Point. Welcome to The Boiling Point. I am Richie Ware, and this is Brian Grindstaff. Now, Brian's with our BoilerWarehouse.com. If you haven't done so, make sure you check out our new social media with BoilerWarehouse.com. How's that going, man? It's going good. Everything's, uh, Chuck does a great job uh, getting, getting our new stuff out there. Uh, we're always, you know, just cranking through products, trying to, trying to educate, trying to just let every people know what's, what's going on. What's out there. It's a little yep. more parts focused yep. um, is what that social media is for and there's some other good data out there that Chuck is uh, putting out so make sure you check out get get all involved with the Instagram and the Facebook and the LinkedIn so uh, we're keeping all that stuff uh, up to date you still can get all of your videos on YouTube so that's where you'll get a lot of your videos just on YouTube so today Brian we're talking about Maxitrol why don't you just take it and roll yeah, so <clears throat> Maxitrol is a great line of regulators. Uh, they're very widely used in tons of different applications mm. um, uh, from appliances and residential uh, type products like, uh, you know, uh, heaters and things in houses and garages mm -hmm. all the way up through uh, commercial boilers, hot water heaters, mm. um, all the way up to what we see a lot of is the more industrial industrialized boilers right so right. Uh, there's a there's kind of a, a a fit for a lot of these different regulators and a lot of different applications real quick when let's just talk um, for everyone of what a regulator is actually doing okay uh, so a gas regulator for example and and what we're showing here uh, is controlling the pressure and the flow to a burner okay um, or an appliance that's using heat in some way, shape, or form. Mm -hmm. uh, you've got, it, they're, they're normally sized for whatever the inlet pressure is and whatever the outlet pressure needs to be reduced to. So normally okay. you'll have a high pressure coming in and you need to reduce it to a lower pressure for the burner to be able to operate. Okay. Uh, and of course the flow, it's got to get enough enough CFH flow for whatever the fuel is that's going through it. So the burner manufacturer is <laughs> actually dictating that um, as they build them and test them, that's for a certain PSI, and that's what this regulator needs exactly. to Exactly. So every burner manufacturer is going to have a design on uh, a, a BTU rating for their, for their burner. That's, uh -huh. that's what it's capable of doing. And at that BTU rating, they're going to specify what pressure needs to be going to the burner for it to be able to achieve that. Okay. So the, the regulator from the utility or from a step down regulator downstream is gonna control that pressure and that flow going mm -hmm. to that burner for what that manufacturer has designated. How is it that um, you can get the pressure uh, that's coming in and then take it down? How's this, how's it do that? So uh, these designs right here and, and most regulators in general, whether that's a steam pressure reducing valve or you know natural gas or propane, um, they're, they're diaphragm operated where they actually have diaphragms uh, in seats uh, where springs kind of push down on them mm -hmm. and they hold them in a position. And then based on uh, the, the regulator design, it is sized for whatever that max inlet pressure is and that flow pressure or the, the flow uh, rate of mm -hmm. the gas coming through. Okay. That's usually specified in CFH. Okay. Um, there's a dir direct correlation between BTU rating on a burner and CFH for gas or air or propane. Okay. Okay. So. All right. Cool. So why don't you just go through some of the, the, the sizes maybe? And yeah. So we've got, got a couple of different things here. Um, you know, we've got a series of 325 regulators, mm -hmm. um, which... Uh, you'll see these on a lot of appliances, residential type stuff. Mm -hmm. And for us, when we get into bigger boilers, you'll start to see a lot of those on pilot lines. Okay. So a lot of the different 325 series for us is, is what controls the light off for, for the bigger burner. Okay. Um, gotcha. So you'll see, you'll see these right <clears throat> here. Like these are, these are 10 PSI max regulators. Mm -hmm. What's pictured here are pretty low pressure regulators. Mm -hmm. um, these are 10 PSI. 
We've got some R series and RS series regulators here that are, uh, they're about a half pound. Oh, okay. Uh, they've actually got exposure ratings that if you put more pressure on them, they're rated for that, but their normal operating range for these are about a half PSI. Okay. And okay. these bigger ones are about five to 10 PSI, depending on the design for these. Okay. So uh, this is like a normal appliance type regulator. Um, these, these regulators here are kind of appliance, uh, mid-level boiler regulators. They go up to about four and a half million BTU. Um, they are a lockup style regulator, which means, you know, when there's no flow, they're going to completely shut off. Okay. Um, so that's, that's a different type here. And then over here, we actually have a zero governor. Mm. which this is kind of like an air mixing regulator. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, uh, you could kind of see in the ends, they have like sensing tubes downstream. Mm -hmm. That is actually tied in with uh, the airflow going to a burner. And mm. the actual airflow and pressure dictates how much these regulators open. Okay. So different design, different use, but we've got all types here. That, right. we, that we're used to dealing right. with. Customer calls mm -hmm. and does not know the actual regulator to use. Is that something that you can actually size for them? Yes, we can. Yeah. So, you know, we get calls all the time. Uh, being in the boiler industry, we are. We'll, you know, we'll go through the series of questions of what they're using them for. We get calls for these regulators for people uh, trying to buy or trying to put them on uh, generators for their house even. Mm. So depending on what the application is, they're going to have a whole host of different questions that you're going to have to ask the customer to be able to make sure you're getting the right regulator for the right application uh, that you're putting it mm -hmm. in and it's going to be it's it's going to be something is it going to be indoors is it going to be outdoor um, you know the the whole list of questions to make sure that it's the right application for the regulator where it's going to be reliable right right and you've got all of the guys trained up to be able to do that yep. if they call so yep awesome well great information i'm always amazed at all the different products that uh, that we that we run into. There's so many different applications, and yep. yes, this is just one manufacturer. But then there's more manufacturers out there. Oh yeah. Um, it just it just like I said, it's amazing. That's why we have forty thousand parts. Yeah. Right? That's just the tip of the iceberg <laughs> right here. It's like you know how much how much can you put out here and digest at one time? But right. yeah, we've got a whole whole slew of different products and different regulators, um, and this is just a, a small portion of, of what we see yeah. uh, with the Max Control lines. Awesome. Well, appreciate the info, and we will see you next time on The Boiling Point.